What's on guys? Welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. We're here in the new bigger and better indoor skate park and today we're going to be going back to basics with a dropping in tutorial. The first thing you should know about dropping in is it's not something you should be doing if you've never skated before. It's much safer if you spend a bit of time on your board riding first, even going up and down ramps, because it's gonna make it much safer and easier when you come to do the drop in. Setting yourself up for the drop in, I recommend learning to do this without hands because it's a much better way of doing it. Assuming you know which of your front and back foot are, you're gonna push the tail of the board down with your back foot and practice sliding it over the coping. Once your board's locked in position with these wheels right up against the coping, it's really good practice to get used to stepping that front foot on the board and taking it off again. And you're aiming to get that front foot right up by the front four bolts. And really important, don't ever do it with your foot straight. That is gonna cause a problem. Always turn it so it's side on so that your whole body is in line with the board. We're not going forward, we're going sideways. The next step, most important one of all, is thinking about where your weight is. So at the moment, it's pretty obvious all of my weight's on my back leg, but when I wanna go for the drop-in, I need to shift my weight all over the front leg, and that's hips, shoulders, and head, all over the front of the board. Almost everyone when they first try this, if they fall over, will fall backwards and that's because they haven't lent far enough forwards. You really want to think about matching what the transition's doing so that your weight is centered on the board or more over the front foot but never on the back foot. So another big reason for people shooting out and falling backwards is because once they've committed and lent into it, they don't get these front two wheels to make contact with the ramp quick enough. And that's a really important step because you want all four wheels to be touching the ramp when you do this. You do not want to do it half committed and get stuck in a manual because that will almost definitely shoot out and you will end up on the floor. If you've already lent into it a good amount when you're committing to the drop in, you should find that this front leg is already bent so you don't have to slam the foot down. It's not about doing it really hard, it's about doing it quick. If you've lent enough and you've quick with the front foot, it should work just right. Once you've lent into the ramp and pushed that foot down, you really want to think about keeping both your legs bent, especially the front one, because that's going to give you a lot more balance than dropping in with completely straight legs will. So the final thing you want to think about with this drop in is where are you going to look? So as soon as you go for it and you've committed, you want to be looking at the flat bit of floor down at the bottom and then as you go into the ramp, you want to lift your head up and look straight ahead, mainly so that you can see where you're going and you don't crash into someone that's coming towards you, but also if you keep your head up, you will find it a lot easier to balance than if you're looking down at your feet. So you're going to look down and then up. So once you've nailed your first drop in, the best thing you can do is go and try it on as many different quarter pipes as possible, different sizes and different steepnesses, because it's gonna really help you get more and more confident with it. So that is it for the drop in tutorial. I really hope this video helps. Please don't go and try this if you've never ridden before. Take some time, ride a board, get used to the ramp that you're planning on dropping in on and it will make it a whole lot easier and safer. Once you've done it a couple of times, you'll probably find that it's suddenly really easy and you can do it every go, but it's still good to take the time. Do not rush into this one. If you like this video, don't forget to click subscribe, leave us a comment with some feedback. We're always happy to hear it. And if there's a trick you're struggling with, let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to do a tutorial just for you. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.